so moving on to the next one so if you just click on next so it will ask for local system or a domain account so here when you just look into this under local system it is telling that install splunk enterprise using local system account that is my own pc splunk enterprise can access all the data or forwarded to this machine so it can't access the data remotely that exactly it means that this splunk if i choose this local system option the splunk enterprise will be installed on my local pc and it can't access any data that is outside of this pc except an option called as forwarding so i'll just get back to you by this option called forwarding to give a brief introduction to this forwarding option that mean that if you have your remote pc a windows pc running in india so you want to get uh, data from a server that is running in us okay so for this use case what you have to do is you need to install a forwarding client on the server that is in us that forwarding client is called as a forwarder or a universal forwarder so that forwarder will bring up the data back to server in the india so that is a brief introduction of that i'll get back to you with a detailed description and installation of the forwarder so that is the local system when you choose domain account it, it says that install splunk enterprise with the domain account you provide it lets you collect log and metrics from remote machines as well as local and forwarded data so this mean that when i choose an option of domain account while installing this splunk our my splunk installation the enterprise installed will be on a domain account rather than on my local pc so now i want it on my local pc so i am just using it as local system so i'll just give next so here is the option of creating menu shortcut so i want this so i'll just give as install so it may take couple of minutes to install this permission yes so this started the installation so we will have two installation options local account and domain account so uh, while the splunk gets installed so let us see sir, some overall overview so what we have covered so far so first uh, we need to download install splunk enterprise application we need to go to splunk.com so there will be a button by the name Spl free splunk a green color button at right top corner of the page so going to that we can download an enterprise version or a cloud version basing on our need so basing on our os architecture we can download many different binary files that are available in the splunk.com website on windows platform or linux or solaris or mac os so one basic requirement for downloading any free splunk is we need to create a free account or splunk.com website so all our interactions with the splunk will be through that account so the interactions here mean that uh, we will have splunk base so for all the uh, apps from the splunk so that is like an app store or google play store for that is on splunk and we have splunk answers uh, for troubleshooting on this splunk or if you get any doubt just go ahead and post on splunk answers and someone from splunk community will respond to you so the other one will be the splunk blogs so we can access all these through the splunk domain account that we have created the free user account so once you install splunk you will have two options to install on local account or domain account basing on your need you can install on local account or domain account so again we have seen the splunk home path that mean the default directory where splunk gets installed at the first site so that will be c program file splunk on windows and opt splunk on linux so i see that splunk installation has been completed so 
it is giving an option like launch browser with Splunk Enterprise. So that is finish. So it will automatically open up a port 8000. That is a Splunk default web port. Splunk default web port is 8000. Okay. So this is the login page of the Splunk. So how do I log in? So the default account which you will get on a Splunk installation is an admin account. So you can log in through admin and the default password that you will get is C-H-A-N-G-E-M-E. So do you want to remember this? No, there is no need of remembering this. So these credentials will be right at the top of this. So username is admin, password is change me. You can just give sign in. So it will ask you to change password on your first sign in. Please, please, please do change the password because this change me password is default for all Splunk enterprise instances. So if you just put it as the default, if you just leave it as default password, you may be prone to some hackings. So to avoid that, please, please change your password. So just enter some new password and give save password. That is it. You are into the Splunk screen. This is the Splunk home screen of an enterprise instance of Splunk 6.5.2. So here you can log out.